I welcome you all and invite you to join on the course titled Psychology of Personality and Individual Differences, Theory and Applications. So, this is a course on uh, personality and uh, my name is Dilwar Hussain. I teach psychology in the Department of Humanities and Social Science at IIT Guwahati. So, as the name suggests, uh, this is a course on psychology of personality and in this course we will uh, we'll be exploring the diverse aspects of personality psychology. Now, through this course we will make an attempt to explore the concept of personality through the lens of theory and research in the field of psychology. So, when we talk about personality, there are many definitions, but in general it means refers to basically unique and enduring patterns of thoughts, feelings and behaviors that characterized an individual. So, basically a personality defines the characteristics of person. So, characteristics patterns of behavior, thought processes or emotions or feelings uh, what kind of characterize a person that is called as personality. So, using this personality descriptions, we can distinguish one person from another person. So, personality also gives us a sense of uniqueness of an individual. So, by understanding personality, we typically you know, understand how a person responds to, responds to various situations, interact with others and perceive the world around them. Now, this concept of personality is uh, very interesting in the sense that we all are interested into this concept. All human beings are interested into understanding the concept of personality they want to understand themselves, they want to understand the personalities of others and they behave accordingly according to their understandings of their personalities. So, we constantly make uh, judgments about other people about ourselves, and we level them with certain characteristics. For example, when we say somebody is introvert, somebody is extrovert or we say somebody has a, uh, is a kind of nervous type of individual or somebody has high conscience and so on. So, these are all descriptions of personality traits. So, so, in that context, we are all lay scientists in the field of personality psychology. We are all assessing personality all the time, making judgment based on personalities and so on, but obviously from the layman perspective. So, this course will refine our understanding or lay understanding of the personality and provide more accurate insights into this field. So, if you look at the field of psychology, personality is at the core or the central aspect of the discipline of personal uh, psychology simply because it tries to understand the holistically it tries to understand holistically the different aspects of human beings which is the focus of personality psychology so this course will provide an in depth exploration of personality psychology its concepts theories assessment and their practical applications in various domains uh, more specifically this course will address some major questions that uh, we will address in through, through this course uh, some of these questions are, what is personality psychology, how is it different from Lehman ideas? Uh, we will also address why we need to study personality, what is the importance of studying personality, in what ways it is relevant to our life. We will also address what are the scientific methods to study personality, how psychologists study personality, what is the scientific methods they use. Is it possible to assess measure human personality with reliability and validity, so we will also address this question because it is very important uh, before we talk about theories and other things, we need to understand what is the method that is used to study personality. We will also address what are the different theoretical perspectives to study personality. This personality psychology is very rich in theories, we will look into some of the major theories and we will also try to address is there one grand personality theory that can explain human behavior holistically. We will also address how human personality develop and change across different stages of our life. So, this is also very important, we will see is there any possibility that personality keeps changing or it is more stable. So, we will look into that debate. At the end, we will also focus on how can we apply the different knowledge from different theories of personality in the real world context. For example, in the context of workplace, in the context of relationships, in the context of health and illnesses including physical health, mental health and so on. So, Mostly people will ask question of what is, what is the benefit of taking this course or what is the benefit of understanding personality. So, the list of benefits are is very long list, we will not be able to look into everything, but here are the some of the important aspects that can you know uh, give you an insight about what are the benefits of studying personality or understanding personality. So, one thing is that you know personality psychology will give us an insight or give you more insight about your self awareness and personal growth. It will also give us insight about better relationships and communication, how can we improve in those, this direction. 
It also gives us insights about improved, how to improve workplace dynamics and leadership qualities and so on. It will also help us or give us insight into the concept of mental health and well-being. How can we kind of you know enhance or improve in those directions? It will also give us a better idea about better parenting and education and so on. So this is a kind of summarized form of important list of things that kind of you know in the list of benefits that will be will will have by studying personality. So I welcome you all to join this course and benefit from it. So this course is not just for psychology students. It is designed in such a way that students from other disciplines can understand the concepts and benefit from it. Thank you.